living in a cage with invisible walls The wicked sight, geist of life, making grown men crawl On their knees, begging please, save us from the boogeymen Funded by the CIA, funneled through Arabian banks Like a shank to the neck, they hit you from the back No sweat, ho check and watch it shake And take away your freedom, you really don't need them When you're tucked away, safe and protected by FEMA Then you must be a dreamer, like the great pretender Ask the second amendment, why I'll never surrender But I'll never plead a fifth when it comes to September I'ma yell it from the roof and expose the agenda yeah. Time to wake up and open your eyes to the matrix This is going out to the troopers and patriots Living free and dying hard, speaking through battles Folks, permanent patriot We're over here at gruntstyle.com Wanna say this up to my boy Tommy Tommy! What's up big dog? Uh, I'm gonna get this out of the way because I know I'm gonna forget uh, And if there's anybody in Illinois Maybe somebody from two on the front line, or uh, anybody out there, you guys need a job, here you go. Go to gruntstyle.com, and I'm sure there's info around there somewhere for a job. They only hire patriots and veterans. Alrighty. The FBI releases data that made Air Force choose to allow personal weapons. Now, as you know, or may not know, Scumbag in chief Bill Clinton, his very first day in office, the very first thing he did was he disarmed our own military. He disarmed the military on their own bases. Don't know if he knew that or not. Wonder why he would do that. But, so, anyways, the FBI. Recently re released data that led to a decision that has a lot of people cheering for the Air Force. Damn, Skippy. Key points of the research. Uh, key points of the research show that 40% of shootings from 2000 to 2013 were stopped by someone other than law enforcement. Did you hear that on Fox News? Did you hear that on any news network? In 37 incidents. Yeah, tell me how many of these did you hear on any news network? In 37, per 37 incidents, 23%, the shooter committed suicide at the scene before police arrived. In 21 incidents, 13%, the situation ended after unarmed citizens safely and successfully restrained the shooter. In two of those incidents, three off-duty law enforcement officers were present and assisted. Of note, 11 of the incidents involved unarmed principals, teachers, other school staff, and students who confronted shooters to end the threat. Nine of those shooters were students. In five incidents, 3.1%, the shooting ended after armed individuals who were not law enforcement personnel exchanged gunfire with the shooters. In these, three incident, in these incidents, three shooters were killed. One was wounded and one committed suicide in stat. Uh, maybe about 50 incidents. I mean, just go and read the FBI's own crime statistics for each fucking year. Look at the fucking murder rate. Yeah, the murder rate goes up. That may go up. But crime in general goes way down. Way down. I mean, anybody in a fucking neighborhood knows, no matter what you are, a burglar, a fucking crack dealer, any fucking thing. Somebody knows that, you know, people in that neighborhood carry guns. They're not going to be fucking around in that neighborhood, are they? Oh, gun-free zone. Let me go over here and shoot some people. Real fucking bright. Uh, what would you rather have on your door? Gun-free house? Or if you come through this door, you're fucking dead, man. Yeah, I'm sure they showed you this on Fox News and, and the president mentioned it too. Speaking of the president, his fucking hometown of Chicago the most crime-ridden city in the fucking world, next to Mexico City. Highest 
murder rate in the fucking country right now. Probably in the world, who knows. A hundred people are shot on average on the fucking weekend alone. A hundred people get shot on average just over the weekend. Talk about entertainment. Have you heard Barry mention anything about his own hometown being a fucking shooting zone? A shooting gallery for all the drug dealers out there that run the fucking big cocaine shipments that go all the way down to Miami and all the way over to Houston and all the way to New York? The evidence is there. Good guys with guns stop bad guys with guns. Yeah, here we are, once again, arguing with people that firearms are necessary to help protect innocent people. Facts don't always seem to matter, no matter how compelling the evidence is. I mean, shit. You're dealing with a pilot. It's a completely different story. I mean, especially a pilot who's in charge of fucking a hundred passengers. Lives. Uh, you don't think they should maybe have something to protect them, do you? Whatever happened to the fucking good old fashioned pat down? What? <laughs> Last time I got a pad down, it fucking took damn near four hours. That's why you'll never catch me flying again. Fuck you, FAA. A review of active shooter cases by the Air Force has confirmed that gun rights advocates have been long saying. Firearms in the hands of good guys are often the best bet for stopping massacres. The military branch earlier this month sent out a letter to its base commanders around the nation reminding them that they can authorize subordinates to carry guns even while off-duty and out of uniform. It also established three programs to help ensure that armed service members are in a position to protect their bases. None of these programs gives the installation commander authorizations they didn't already have the authorization to do, which I'm surprised, which means there's still some good people in the Air Force. We are now formalizing it and telling them how they can use these type of programs more effectively. The memo followed a review by the Air Force of active shooter incidents across the country, which was spurred by last July's attack on a recruiting office in nearby Reserve Center in Chattanooga, which four Marines and a Navy sailor were killed. Oh, I gotta go through the attack. Yeah, there you go. Read the report. Read the full story at Fox, okay? Uh, so, if you don't know what an active shooter drill is, this is how I can so rapidly call out a false flag. Because there's no way in hell that you can have an active shooter drill at the same time that a terrorist attack is happening. It's impossible. Anything is pot No, 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 no. Not this. Not this. It's, I mean, astronomically impossible. And if you don't know what an active shooter drill is, that is when, let's say there's a terrorist attack, okay? A bombing. Well, let's say the active shooter drill is for that. They're training for a bombing drill. Just so happens, a bomb goes off. They only do active shooter drills once a year. Not in the fucking country. I mean, depends what organization and shit, but. All it. different shit, but 
nevertheless. It just don't happen, especially in the same place. Hello? McFly? I mean, seriously, you're going to listen to... Before you listen to what anybody tells you, go and look at some fucking statistics. You don't know the fucking statistics. Someone just told you the statistics. Now, you may know that I'm telling you the truth. Well, don't know. Know for damn sure that I am and go and look it up yourself. Make thousands of flyers and fucking plaster them everywhere at the state capitol, at the fucking news center, every place. Fucking neighbor's house. You gotta fucking take control of your damn city council. That's what you gotta do. Number one. Grassroots level is where you start. And this, that's why I don't go to the city council no more. They don't even fucking listen to you. And I'm not gonna fucking get arrested to prove my point that everyone already knows. But believe me, Kevin Johnson knows I'm on his fucking ass every day. Ashby knows I'm on her ass every day. And so, uh, there is going to come a time where I am going to make that statement for everyone. I, I don't know if any, if, uh, people realize either, but I think it was, uh, last year or maybe 2012 and the 2012, they started putting a fully geared SWAT team. Right in the back room. In a gallery. Where they can watch everyone. Like 10 fucking cops in there. Fucking SWAT team. All geared up, ready to go. Probably nothing better to do, right? Or maybe it, maybe that's their office. That's what it is. Yeah. They just always stay in gear because, just in case, you know? Never know. Somebody needs to make some real fucking statements down there. Dave Janae. You want to make some real statements down there, Dave? I know you're tough and you're a good guy. You need to get a little more fucking stringent here. I mean, this is bullshit. There's cutting speakers, time limits and shit. It's, it's fucking draconian. You better get control of this fucking city. It's already down the fucking tubes. What kind of morons know that a financial plan is not working and continue to use it? Not only that, but invest in fucking hundred million dollar projects. Instead of saying, we don't have the money for that right now. No, it's just, oh, we're going bankrupt. Let's just fucking blow it all. Unbelievable. How can you people let these fucking schmucks run your city? Especially Kevin Johnson. That fucking scumbag should be lynched. He needs to be boiled in oil. Fucking piece of shit. You, Kevin. I'll fucking see you someday soon, son. That's it for now, folks. God bless and carry on.